Steep heads in general are unique to this area. They're only found in the upper Apalachicola Basin. And the really cool thing about them is that they create this kind of environment around themselves that results in a huge number of species here. But as cool as this habitat is, as, as well as these trees are serving to hold this soil back from the stream, there's a missing ingredient that normally would be growing right here, the Florida Terea tree. It's never been a common species. It was only found in about a 20 mile strip of land from about the dam to just south of where we are right now. The park we're in right now gets its name from this tree, Terea State Park. And the Terea tree is a really special tree, but sadly it's almost gone. The individuals behind me, including this one, are almost all that's left of this species that used to dominate the forest around here, the steep heads of North Florida. And as you can see from this tree, it's not doing well. And this tree, shockingly, is doing far better than any of the trees in the natural environment. All the trees today, they only get about this tall, and then they die. They turn brown, they wither away, and they die. Nobody really knows what's going on. Some say a fungus, some say the air quality has changed, some say that a warmer climate is driving the extinction of this species. All we do know is that ever since the 1950s, when the dam was built just upstream, this tree has gone into a steep decline. A lot of people think that it changed the entire flow of all this water and all that change made the region around these steep heads warmer and drier. Today, only about 200 mature individuals of Terea trees survive. And these individuals are part of an effort to bring the species back into its former role in the chain of life. The Atlanta Botanical Garden has taken wild terea trees, brought them into essentially captivity, and raised them up until they produce cones. And then basically put those cones back into the natural environment. This tree is one of the oldest known trees in the entire world. If you look at these needles here, fossils of these have been found in the same strata as dinosaur bones. This tree has not changed for millions of years. It's what we call a relic of prehistoric times. Naturally, this tree would grow 40, 50 feet tall, and it was actually commonly used as a Christmas tree in the 1800s and early 1900s. Today, if you used it as a Christmas tree, you would go to prison because this is a federally endangered species. In fact, many people consider it to be the rarest tree in the world. We really need to pay attention to what's happening because if this tree disappears, that's indicative that maybe other species will as well. And there's no place where extinction would hit harder than here because of the diversity of this region. It would really be a shame we started losing the amazing biodiversity of this area. One of six biodiversity hotspots in the entire country. And this tree is just such a good example of that. I mean, think about that. A tree has evolved in a 20 mile length of land. That's the only place you can find this tree and the only place you've ever been able to find this tree. It's just so amazing, yet so sad that it's disappearing before our eyes. So let's do all we can to keep it around. This is it. It's all that's left.